okay yeah i want to show you how you can draw the auxiliary plan of the hexagonal prism whose front elevation and the top view top view view or plan are given how you can draw the auxiliary plan of an hexagonal prism whose front elevation and the top view are given now as i usually say whenever you are asked to draw an auxiliary plan what you need to do is to draw point to, to draw line from each point on the front elevation you need to draw line lines from each point on the front elevation as we have here we are going to draw line from this point 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 on this plane and this plane is plane x1 y1 plane x1 y1 and plane x1 y1 is inclined at an angle 60 degree so in this case you have to make use of the 30 degree side of your set square so that the lines can be at right angle to plane x1 y1 so the construction goes as follows so from this point starting from here draw a straight line with the 30 degree side of your set square is it then from this point you draw a line also from this point you draw a line so from so take it up so you draw a line from this point and from here draw a line and from this point draw a line all right so with all these lines that we have drawn so the next thing that you need to do is that you put your t square at this point and draw a straight line to the left side you put it at this point here draw a straight line to this side on the left side put it at this point draw a straight line to this side and you put it at this point you draw a straight line to this side then you draw a vertical line from here you draw a vertical line like this now so you call this point call this point call it point one so a point that comes out from this point here so the line that you draw out from this point and meeting the vertical line here, call it one. This one, the line that you draw from this point to this side, meeting the vertical line here, call it two. And the line that you draw out from here, meeting the vertical line at this point, call it three. And the line that comes out from this point, so this is also one. So this is also one. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is that so you take your compass so take your compass put it at point one here and extend it to two extend it to two here okay so we are drawing the auxiliary plan on this plane x1 y1 so automatically this point here is point one that's point one So, after you have taken the distance from 1 to 2, so put at this point and you make an arc here. So, this is point 2. Then, put it at 1 and extend it to 3 here. Extend it to 3 here and you put it at this point point one on plane x or y one make an arc so this is point three then from one again extend it to one 
on this line to uh, extend it to one. Here. Extend to this point. And you put it at this point here on one on plane x1 y1 make an arc here so here we have what we have one then from each of these points with the set the 60 degree side of your set square so you draw a line like this so draw a line from three So draw a line up from two draw a line up here all right so after you have done this now so if i label this go i've labeled the points on the plan this is one this is two this is three and this is one prime this is three prime this is two prime so if i follow the numbering as i have here but if i follow the numbering as I have here, so here is two comma three, and here is one. Here is one, one prime, and here is two prime, comma three prime. As I have here, okay. Now, if you look at what we have here. Point two is joined to point one along this line. This is line one. This is line one. This line, this line that we have here is line one. So this point two, as we have here, point two is connected to one. As we have here, point two is connected to one. So two will be connected to this point one. And then you also have that point three here, three prime here. Is connected to one prime so if I have to here so this point three will be connected to this one so and then point two prime three prime are connected together so I can join this together with straight lines so this is it so join this together with a straight line then you join this together with a straight line and again, this object is being viewed in this direction. So when I'm looking at this object in this direction, I will see this line. I will see this line and I will see this line. Very clear. I will see this line. I will see this line and I will see this line. But I'm looking at the object in this direction. So that's what we are doing. So this also should be made thick. Okay. Then, if I'm looking at the object in this direction, some part will be hidden from it. This part will be hidden. This will be hidden. And this will be hidden. This line that connects one and two together will be hidden. This line that connects two and three together will be hidden. And this line that connects three and one prime together will be hidden from me. So, in this case now, so we have to connect this line one, line one, this point one, we have to connect it with two and three here two here and three here we have to connect them together but we are going to show them hidden because we cannot see them uh we cannot see them based on uh because of the direction of view so this will be shown hidden and also this will also be shown hidden Okay, and also this is hidden. All right, so that is done. So that is done. So the next thing that we are going to do is that there is a line at each of these points, a line at this point. 
a line at this point, a line at this point, and a line at this point. I will see those lines. I will see them standing like this. So, a line at this point, a line at this point, and a line at this point, and a line at this point. When I'm looking at this object in direction, I will see those lines standing, uh, standing right, and also they will be visible. So I will see them. So, for this point, for this point, let's start with this point here. There is a line at this point. So that is, if you start from here, you take this point on one. So this point, so it will end here. So that is from this point and this point here. So that's it. Then also at this point, so we have a line. So you follow this line like this. So we have a point here. This is point two. So we have a point, we have a point here for the line. And also if you follow this line from here like this, we also have this point. Then also for this one, we also have this, we have this point, that same line. So this is the end of it. So there's a line that starts at this point and it ends here. So all these lines should be drawn with thick continuous lines. Okay. Okay, so on this part, I will see, I will see the line. So this point will be joined to this point. So I will see the line being joined together to form part of the hexagon, the upper one. Okay. And then, so this point will be joined to this point, and this will be joined to this point. So this is it. Okay, and then this there's a line at this point here. There's a line at this point that will be hidden from me to be at the back. I will not see it. So I need to show it hidden. So this is it. Also. Okay, so this is it. So this is the auxiliary plan. So looking at this object in this direction, and we draw it on this plane x1, y1. So this is the auxiliary plan of the hexagonal prism. So it's as simple as I've shown it. Just practice and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed. Share this video with friends who are technical drawing or engineering students, and keep on practicing. I see you at the top. God bless you. Thank you.